Blue, Sparrow, Nurse, Bat, Needle, Potter, Tailor, Fish, Reach, Monkey, Tiger, School, Chair, Parrot, Places, Beach, School, People, Singer, Nurse, Tailor, Animals, Sparrow, Fish, Monkey, Tiger, Parrot, Things, Balloon, Bat, Needle, Butter, Chair. So remember, people, naming words are called nouns. We use naming words for people, places, animals, and things. Now number. Hey Rainbow, look at this pot. It has a beautiful flower in it. Look at this pot too. It has two beautiful flowers. The word flower is a noun. We add S to flower to make it floral. So flower, flowers. You can also make floral of the noun pot by adding S. Pot, pots. The word that names one person, one place, one animal or one thing is a singular noun. When you add S to the singular noun, it becomes plural. Let's do an activity. Look at these pictures and say whether they are singular or plural now. Rainbow, the first picture is of one girl. So, singular now. And the next picture is of many girls. So, we say girl, girls. Dog, Let us do a 
another activity. But now there will be no pictures. Let us say the plural of these words. Boy, boy. Teacher, teachers. Cake, cakes. Toy, toys. Tree, trees. Ring, rings. Book, books. Desk, desks. Table, tables. Good. Now you know how to change the singular noun into a plural noun. Here is one more activity. Here is a list of jumble words. You will put the singular words in box A and the florals in box B. Words Ring Cakes Tables Dog Stars Flower Box A Ring Dog Flower Box B Cake Table Stars Good! That was well done! Gender. Rainbow, the train has arrived. Let's rush. Not that boogie rainbow. That's for Jen. Ladies and children usually travel in the ladies' compartment. Rainbow, ladies and girls belong to the feminine gender. Whereas men and boys belong to the masculine gender. Today, let me tell you about masculine and feminine gender. As you have seen rainbow, boys, men and male animals all belong to the masculine gender. Can you think of some examples in any family? Yes, you are absolutely right. Father, brother, uncle, grandfather. Very good. Now, look at these pictures. Tell me which of these belong to the masculine gender and circle the names in blue. Let's read the names you have circled. The red, king, prince, bridegroom. Rainbow, did I leave out something? Oh, sorry. Male animals. Let us see these pictures. Here's a lion. 
He really looks like the king of the jungle. See the stag with his antlers. Who's next, Rainbow? Yes, indeed. The bull follows next. And finally, the horse. Let us circle these main animal names in blue. Here are many pictures of birds. Let us circle the names of the main bird in blue. Why don't you read their names? Excellent! Peacock, our national bird. Drake, a male duck. Gander, a male goose. And of course, the cock, male of the hen. Excellent! Words of the feminine gender are used for women, girls and female animals and of course ladies. See, they are written in red on the board. So, shall we start reading the feminine gender names and complete the pairs? The first pair is done. Father, Mother. The feminine gender of father is mother. Now let us continue. Brother, sister, uncle, not aunt rainbow, aunt, grandfather, grandmother, king, queen. Prince, Princess, Bridegroom, Bride, Lion, Lioness, Stag, Doe, Bull, Cow, Horse, Man, Peacock, Peahen. Drake, duck, gander, coo, cock, hen. Rainbow, do you remember the pairs? Let us play a game. Here are some cards with pictures. As you see a picture on the board, choose from your cards. The missing part of the pair and place it on the board. What is seen in the first picture, Rainbow? Yes, it is a king. Who is his partner? Correct, it is the queen. Lion, lioness. Peacock, peahen, bride, bridegroom, grandmother, grandfather. That was excellent, Rainbow. You remember the masculine and feminine gender. Some are hidden in this puzzle. You have to find them. Color the squares with masculine gender names in blue and those with feminine gender names in red.
get your friends to join in and enjoy matching the pairs of masculine and feminine gender. Write the names of masculine and feminine gender on strips of paper, shuffle them, then match the pairs. 